This is Aram Jabari, PR manager at Atlas, and we'd like to give you a sneak peek at the combat system in Game of Thrones, our upcoming RPG based on the critically acclaimed HBO television series and internationally best-selling book series A Song of Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin. Let's start by taking a look at the core of the game's combat engine, the active pause system. Game of Thrones is a fast-paced role-playing game where all combat, skill use, and item use happen in real time. When the pulse-pounding action becomes overwhelming, the player can slow down time to better make strategic decisions like giving allies orders or choosing to use some of their character's skills to help turn the tide of the fight. It's important to note that time can never be stopped outright as it can in many other games. This serves to preserve the tension and urgency one would expect from fights in the Game of Thrones universe. As we mentioned, both of the main player characters, Moores Westford and Alistair Sarwick, have unique individual classes with inherent distinct skills. Moores, a hardened warrior of the Night's Watch, can fight as a landed knight, a brutish hedge knight, or as a fierce magnar. Alistair, a red priest, can fight as an archer, a sellsword, or as a water dancer. These different classes will determine the weapons and armor that Moors and Alistair can use. A hedge knight may use cumbersome two-handed weapons and sweeping attacks, while a landed knight will fight best with a sword and shield combination. Both of these characters will also play differently. For example, Alistair is not quite as stout in battle as Moors is. When facing multiple enemies, Alistair will typically prefer to not stand and fight. To this point, Alistair will have many more options that involve engaging enemies at range, while Moors will usually need to take the fight right to the enemy. Perhaps you want to play as a water-dancing archer, or an effective heavy-armored Magnar? The game's multi-class customization options make these character builds possible. You also have the ability to eschew the multi-class path in favor of becoming a specialist in one class and gaining the upper-tier skills for that particular class. This is just a fraction of the strategic aspects that you'll be able to explore in Game of Thrones. On behalf of everyone here at Atlas, I'd like to thank you for watching, and we hope you're looking forward to playing Game of Thrones when it comes out on May 15, 2012 for PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC.